Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Today we're going to talk about microphones again, but this time I'll show you how I made one. And you could do it too. Uh, it started with this. Found this in a thrift store. Uh, didn't have the cord on it, had an XLR connector on it. But it's a, a great housing. Turned out the cartridge on the inside was really pretty bad. Uh, it didn't sound good and there was no way to make it sound good. But you can change that out and make it sound great. And the way to do that is with an Electra cartridge, which is about three-eighths of an inch in diameter and a little bit less than that tall, kind of a cylindrical thing. Um, there are different sizes. You can find them way small, like in your cell phone. That's the microphone that's in your cell phone. And, uh, in fact, that's the little microphone I'm using. Oops, touched it. That's the little microphone that I'm using here. It ha it's an Electra. Uh, it's part of an earbud, and I cut the uh, earbuds off and just using the, the mic. Um, so, we have, I have this, uh, bought this for about a dollar in a thrift store, and thought, it's perfect. And it is. It's great. Uh, little Radio Shack push-button switch. Our Radio Shack still happens to be open. Why, I don't know, but it is. I guess we're lucky. So, I opened up the top of it and took out the um, cartridge that was in it because it sounded just terrible and tossed it and I used a little bit of the housing that was in there, the plastic support to hold the Electra and the Electra and I've got it kind of haywired in here for right now um, in fact it just came loose is this little thing on the top I don't know if it's going to come out and focus or not but it's this little gizmo here. Uh, there's two wires, or two connections to it. Believe it or not, there are just two tabs on the back of most of these. And um, the way it's wired in is the voltage goes through a resistor to one terminal. That same terminal goes, uh, another wire goes through a capacitor. Uh, the resistor happens to be around 2,000 ohms. Uh, the capacitor can be about 0.1 or 0.05 and so the capacitor is the audio line the voltage line comes from your transceiver to power this thing um, you want it as far up in this housing as you can get it you want this piece to be right up against the screen if it's uh, lower in this housing it tends to sound tinny or there's a bit of an echo and it, it doesn't sound good uh, and I'll record a little audio with this in just a minute. So uh, electric cartridges you can find them for a quarter, a dollar probably all electronics is where I got got that one. Um, I think the switch was probably the most expensive thing. I think it was a couple of bucks. So I got a dollar here, uh, less than a dollar here, a couple of bucks here and a cord and so I've got a great microphone for less than ten dollars and I'm going to demonstrate it next. Um, this will sound as good as just about anything you can find. Uh, if you have an equalizer in your transceiver you can set the frequency response to uh, remove some of the lows or you can change the value of the capacitor. These things have lots of gain so it's uh, a good idea to if you can I've got one that's oh, on the floor. I put a um, sorry put a windscreen over the top of it and these are really available for a buck or two anyway that's my microphone and it works great and I'll do a demonstration of it right now back in a second Teletest one two okay this is the Static 10DA my favorite microphone for darn near 50 years okay this is the uh the microphone with um, uh, no equalization and probably the capacitor should be a, a smaller value. It's got a lot of lows. I used a 0.1, maybe a 0 0.01 would be a better choice. Anyway, it has too many lows, so um, I'm going to I'm going to adjust the graphic equalizer to get rid of some of the lows. This is the condenser mic with a little bit of equalization to add some highs and reduce the lows. Pretty much the same thing I did with the uh, uh, a Static 10DA. This has lots of highs. It's uh, really crisp sounding. 
got a windscreen on, and I think it really needs that. Has just enough in the low frequencies for power, and a lot of highs for intelligibility. Okay, this is my uh, five dollar microphone. I'm going to switch back to the uh, Static 10DA. I have to turn the mic gain up because it doesn't have the same mic gain. But anyway, this is the 10DA, which sounds really good. But for five dollars, the other one doesn't sound bad at all. Okay, there you have it. Five dollar microphone can be made out of just about anything. All right, I think you'll agree it sounded really good. Um, and for the price, you can't beat it. So for five to ten dollars, if you can be on the lookout for a microphone in a thrift store, you frequent those places. Some of the people out in front can be kind of creepy, but um, sometimes there's some gems on the inside. Or if you go to a garage sale or uh, whatever, uh, if you can find some microphones like this, it, you know, if they're a buck or two a piece, just buy them because the housing's great and it's easily made into a microphone. If you can't find one of these, you could use a piece of PVC pipe, put a pipe cap on the end of it, drill a hole in it, and that becomes a microphone, stick a foam cover on it, nobody's going to know. Put a, a push button and you're good to go. Um, if you're confused about the wiring, it's uh, really simple. There's lots of videos on YouTube about how to wire these things up. Again, it's just three wires. There's a ground, voltage, and audio. The uh, voltage line has a resistor in it. Uh, usually 2.2k ohm is what they recommend. I didn't have a 2.2, but I had uh, 1k ohm resistor, so two of them, and then a 0.1 capacitor to take the uh, the audio. The capacitor keeps the DC voltage from going down the audio line. It becomes a DC blocking capacitor and a coupling capacitor. So anyway, that's this microphone. And in an upcoming episode, I'm going to show you my little black magic box and. this, which has been, been around for a long time. There are companies that sell these things. Uh, it's an automatic antenna tuner. It'll match any antenna, uh, 50 ohms, uh, guaranteed. Uh, it's good for 100 watts. Uh, you'll always have a good SWR, right? So what else could you ask for? Well, perhaps performance. We'll show you what's inside this magic box the next time. Thanks for joining me. This is, if you like this video or if you want to subscribe that would be great. A thumbs up would be wonderful. Uh, in any case, thanks for joining me. See you the next time. I'm Jim W6LG. Oh, 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 I forgot. Before I go, there's a DX contest on right now and I'm going to play a little bit of video for, um, with audio of um, uh, A71AM. If you might, if you saw one of my first videos, I mentioned the W6LG sign had come from uh, SAFE a71am well <laughs> he's on calling cq and i've got a quick recording of him anyway 73 w6lgl play that video next take care bye bye radio 8 charlie tokyo radio 8 charlie tokyo 59634 thank you 5 minutes thank you alpha 71 alpha mike alpha 71 alpha mike